Let's get started using tabs in Cork Express. I've got my text tool and I'm going to create a simple text box in the center of my document. Now to set tabs we have to always press the tab key. So when I type in some text I'm going to start off by t pressing tab which is next to the Q and notice it'll space over about a quarter of an inch each time. And I'm going to type in test tab 1 I'm going to hit my tab key again, test tab 2. I'm going to hit my tab key a third time, and finally test tab 3. Once I've gotten three things typed in, and notice, remember, that I typed a tab first, then my text, then another tab, then another one. You always have to, to type a tab in order to set a tab. Once that's set, I've got to select my text that I want to affect. I can go up to Style and down to Tabs, or I can hit Shift-Command-T. Either way, that'll bring up my Paragraph Attributes with the Tabs tab selected. If I move it out of the way, one thing you'll notice is that there is a ruler at the top of the text box that I'm working in. This will come in handy when setting a tab. And in my uh, Tabs Attributes box, you'll notice there are different types of tabs we can set. So let's go ahead and set the first one. Setting a tab is really easy in Cork Express. So if I want everything to be aligned to the left, I'm going to hit the, with the left tab selected, notice that it's blacked out, I can go up to my ruler and I can click once just above the ruler and that will create a little icon where to set my tab. So I'm going to click once. Notice a little icon appears just above there. It's right about at the uh, quarter of an inch mark. So now when I press the apply button, watch what happens to the text. Everything bumps over and lines up with that one tab. Notice that I have another tab over here. So if I want to set another left alignment, I can set it say at two inches. Now when I hit the apply button, my second tab will be at the uh, two inch mark. And if I want to hit another tab at the 4 inch, I hit apply and everything bumps over from there. And so now I've set three different tabs because remember I'd hit tab three times and the text will align on those three tabs. If I ever needed to move a tab around, I can simply click on the little icon that I created and move it over. Let's say I wanted to set it right at 1 inch and I can hit apply and the text will jump right to that new tab that I set. If I wanted to set it someplace specifically, like let's say I wanted to set this two inch, I'm gonna click on it until it's highlighted and go down to position. Right now it's not exactly on two inches, but I'm gonna have it at 2.5 inches. I can type in a specific number, 2.5, and notice that it will jump right at two and a half inches. So when I hit apply, everything will jump over to there. To remove a tab, it's as simple as clicking and dragging. So let's say I wanted to remove this third tab. I can click on it to highlight it. Then when I click and drag, it'll pop off. And when I remove or release my mouse, it's been erased. So now when I hit apply, my tab de defaults back to the half inch tab. Other types of alignment I can do is, let's say I wanted a right tab for tab 3. I'm going to click on right. Notice that's highlighted. Now whenever I click on the just above the ruler, say on the 5 inch mark, and I hit apply, notice that everything is now aligned to the right hand side of this tab. So all this text is now lined up on the right. Let's say that I wanted my test 2 tab to be aligned centered. So I'm going to remove this one by clicking on it and dragging and releasing it off. I'm going to select my center tab and then I'm going to go back up here and let's say I wanted it centered at right about three inches. I clicked on there and now I'm going to hit apply and my text will jump right to the three inch mark but this time it's centered. So my first tab, tab one, is aligned to the left my tab 2 is aligned centered and tab 3 is now aligned to the right. Some other ones you can do is alignment on, on a decimal point, like if you're listing out lots of numbers, especially uh, money that has uh, a full number and then the change. You can align on the comma 
or you can align on any given character that you wish. And we'll go into this in a little bit more. Once you've finished setting your tabs exactly how you want, you can hit the OK button. And now your tabs are set. One thing you'll notice, now I can continue typing if I hit the return key and I hit tab again. My, now, my cursor will now jump in alignment with the tab that I first hit. So that all this, every time I hit the tab key the first time, my text will align on that. So if I hit tab again, now my alignment is on the center of this. So when I start typing, it'll be centered. And if I hit tab again, and I start typing different on this one, it'll be right aligned. And every time I hit tab, it'll keep doing that until I have the different types of tab alignments that I chose. And that's how you set tabs basically in Cork Express.